Today we'll be assembling the 12 volt turbo go-kart. Start by turning the rear bin upside down. Then flip the body upside down and align the rearmost tube of the frame with the channel in the back of the rear bin. The short bar on the tube should fit into the slot in the plastic body. Thread an M5 by 30 bolt onto each of the two holes on the middle tube. Tighten the bolts with a Phillips head screwdriver. Connect the wire harness. Starting on either side, slide the rear axle through the rear bin. Flip the go-kart back over. Align the keying features on the rear wheels with each gearbox. Slide the rear wheels over either side of the axle. Put a washer and lock nut over either end of the rear axle. To tighten the lock nuts, use the 8mm side of the provided plastic wrenches. Turn the wrenches in the opposite directions to tighten both of the nuts simultaneously. To install the wheel covers, first align the two tabs on the cover with the slots in the wheel. Firmly press the covers into place. Match the stickers on the front wheel assemblies with their respective sides. Fit the front brackets over the frame. Be sure the longer tab on the bracket is facing down. Secure the front wheel assemblies to the frame with an M8 by 78 bolt and capture with the M8 lock nut. To tighten the bolts, use the provided 8mm Allen wrench while holding the nut in place with the plastic wrench. Insert the shield into the tube at the front of the car. Insert the M6 by 32 bolt through the tube, ensuring that the square feature on the bolt fits into the square cut on the tube. Capture the end of the bolt with the M6 washer and lock nut. Use the 6mm side of the plastic wrench to tighten the lock nut. To install the seat, start by aligning the two tabs on the bottom of the seat with the two slots on the frame. With the tabs inserted, rotate the seat into place. Turn the car on its side. Secure the rear of the seat with two M4 2x14 screws. Be sure to hold the seat during the assembly. Before installing the steering linkage, ensure that the bent tab is facing up towards the front of the car. Fit an M6 by 15 shoulder bolt through each end of the steering linkage. Capture with an M6 washer on the underside. 
Align the bolts on the steering linkage with the holes on the top of the brackets. Capture each bolt with an M6 lock nut. Use a screwdriver to hold the bolt in place while using the plastic wrench to tighten the lock nut into place. Insert the steering tube through the opening at the front of the car. The length of the tube should route into the shield while the curved end should hook into the tab in the center of the steering linkage. Fit the steering wheel over the top of the steering tube. Be sure the holes on the steering wheel are aligned with the holes on the tube. Insert an M5 lock nut onto the hexagonal pocket on the right side of the steering wheel. Push an M5 by 25 bolt through the other side of the steering wheel. You may need to press the nut in place while threading the bolt. Use a screwdriver to thread it into the nut. Slide the fenders down into the rear bin until they snap into place. Assemble the flag and insert it into the slot on the top of the rear bin. Use a screwdriver to remove the screw securing the panel on the rear bin. Remove the panel and connect the battery to the battery harness. Reinstall the panel and secure with a screw. To charge, lift the dust cover located just above the power switch. Note, as a safety feature, the product will not function while the charger is plugged in. Be sure to fully remove the charger prior to powering on. Now you're ready to roll.